Thank you for today. I can apply polynomial operations to real world problems. What do you mean by it? Okay, that means we can use polynomials in our day to day life. Can you think about the places where we can use polynomials or what profession we can get into? Go ahead, test. Grocery store. Say grocery store. Grocery store, yes. In the aisles when we have so many different things, we can be it can be used in the grocery store. Good. Go ahead, Thomas. Construction. Construction. That is good. Our phone. Your cell phones. Good. Um, like hospitals. Hospitals, yes. Financial. Financial. At the bank. At the bank. So you got all the things which I wanted to say. So, when we learn polynomials, it's not just that we are applying it only to math. There are many professions where we can take up just because we can do good in polynomials. Such as computer programming. That's why when you said cell phones, yes. You do polynomial division in your cell phones. So computer programming. Financing, somebody said banking and somebody said financing. Somebody said construction, so engineering. And physical therapist, somebody said, in the hospitals. Yes? These are not just the jobs which we can get. There are ever so many jobs which you can get because of polynomials. So now that we know the importance of polynomials in our daily life, we will just go apply them. What are the polynomial operations we have learned last few days? Anyone who have not answered? Addition. Addition. Haki? Subtraction. Subtraction. Multiplication. Multiplication. These are the three operations we did. As I told you, you have one more which is division. We will not be doing now. You will be doing it in your later stage. But right now we will be doing the three things. So these are the different places where you can use polynomials. And why it is important? Polynomials are the foundations for algebraic equations. Algebra is like what we breathe. We cannot survive without breathing, so we cannot survive without algebraic equations. They are the base of adding, subtracting coefficients and variables. How do you think that we have to do deal with the problems in the real world? When you look at a problem, first you need to decide whether it is going to involve addition, which we already know, subtraction and multiplication. How do we add or subtract? What terms do we add or subtract? Like terms. What do we mean by like terms? Same variable, same exponent. That's good. Multiplication, how do we multiply? Distributed. Or in your lower classes, you learn it as what method? Foil. Isn't it? If polynomials are given, you add and subtract like terms and multiply just like normal multiplication. I want you to copy down this last sentence. Area is, suppose if polynomials are not given, area is length times width. Okay, let's go ahead and copy. If you know it, that's fine. But once again, it is a refreshing for us. Area is, I just want you to copy this. Area, length times width, perimeter at all sides.
Okay, that's good. Look at this problem. It's a word problem. We have to decide whether we are going to add or subtract or multiply. Isn't it? That is what the first step. Before doing that also, we need to read the problem first. So let me go ahead. I have to solve this problem. So let me go ahead and read it. If the length of the rectangle in terms of x is x square plus 2x plus 5 and its width is 5x plus 4 is the perimeter of this rectangle. Hmm. Two things I need to do. I need to decide what I should do, whether I should add, subtract or multiply. For me to do that, I need to know what is given. So I always tell the students, what do I say? When you see a word problem, what do you have to do? Uh -huh. Highlight what? The Q words. That is, what is given? What is? Question. So if I have to do that, the length of a rectangle is given to me this. Its width is 5x plus 4. This is what is given to me, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So what is that they have asked me? What is the perimeter? Hmm. What is the perimeter of rectangle? Yeah. At all sides. So go ahead, write it, perimeter at all sides. So if I put in this picture my length, this is my length x square plus 2x plus 5, 5x plus 4 is my width, isn't it? So what will be the value of this side? Anyone raise your hand if you know it? What will be the value on this side? Go ahead Destiny. Same as on the top because this and this for a rectangle will be the same. So x square plus 2x plus 5. Yes, Hakim, what will be this side? Same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. So this side and this side will be the same. So 5x plus 4. Because we said add, we need to add all this. So x square plus 2x plus 5. x square plus 2x plus 5, 5x plus 4, 5x plus 4. Can anybody recollect what I am doing here? Vertical way wherein I am placing like terms together, isn't it? So what should I do if I don't have a number in front of the variable? Put a 1. 1 plus 1 because we are adding, it will be what? 2. What should I do with the letter? Drop it down because you are not going to do anything with the variable. You will drop it down. This is positive 5 so it will be positive sign. Use your calculator. 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 5. Five plus five, four plus four. So what is the perimeter? Two x to second part plus fourteen, isn't it? I'm sorry. Five plus five. Plus 4 plus 4, 18. Any doubt in this? Mm -hmm. I want you to read this problem. Write it in your notes what is given and what is asked. And I want you to decide 
what you will be doing. Read it for yourself. Okay, now that we got a chance to read it for ourselves, can one of you read it loud for me? Anyone? Come on, go ahead, read it up. The polynomial given to the experiment on this 8x plus 10 models the profit a company makes on selling an item at a price x. A second item sold at the same price brings a profit of 8x squared plus 2x minus 20. Write a polynomial that expresses the total profit from the sale of both items. Okay, that's good. Thank you, ma'am. Now, can you help me out? What should I be underlining? Can anyone go on to the board and underline? Go ahead. Because two things we have to do, what is given and what is asked for me to decide what we have to do. Thank you, Destiny. So, Destiny has underlined the polynomial 2x squared minus 8x plus 10, 8x squared plus 2x minus 20. That is what is given, I understand. And total profit. When we are doing this, let's read one more time to know what we have to do. The polynomial 2x squared minus 8x plus 10 models a profit company makes on selling an item at a price x. So this is where it is coming as financing or it is coming as what you said in our regular way grocery store. A second item sold at the same price brings a profit of this. Write a polynomial that expresses the total. What do you mean by total? These are two different things. So you want total what you will do? <coughs> so go ahead do it. And once you do it talk to the person who is behind you See if both of you have the same answer. Turn to your, turn to the person who is behind you. Now both of you don't have behind each other. So you can talk to both beside you, your elbow partner. If you don't have anybody behind you, talk to the elbow partner. Did you and your friend got the same answers? Yes, ma'am. So who will be the person? Um. Go ahead and work it out. And all of you check if you have the same thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Is that your answer? Yes. What is this way of doing? A horizontal way. Two, if you combine the like terms, two plus eight gives you ten. Negative eight plus two gives you negative six. Ten plus negative twenty gives you negative ten. Yes? Good morning. So, we know whether we are given a picture like the previous problem or whether we are given a word problem, we can easily read and do what we are supposed to do. Isn't it? Go ahead. I want you to read it and copy only what is required and do what is given by yourself. And I'll appreciate if you can picture what is given. Okay, I'm saying two different answers. So let's read together. I had seen as 9x plus 11 and some negative 8x or 8x plus 5. So let's read together. A triangle has three sides and they have given me three sides. What is the perimeter? Perimeter, we just now copied. What is perimeter? Add all sides. So P is add all sides. It makes easier for us if we picturize it. This is our triangle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if we can write this as 12x plus 6, x minus 5 and negative 4x plus 10. So if I have to add, I had seen while I was walking around, all of you doing a great job of writing it in this way. Like most of you, I like this way so that you know what you are going to do. There is no number here, so you will always put it as 1. 12 plus 1, use your calculator, subtract 9. Subtract four, four. I'm sorry, subtract 4. Nine. What does it say? 9x. 9x? So 9 and I need to drop down the letter. Go ahead, 
tell me. 6 subtract 5 plus 10. 11. That is your right answer. Good job. How many of you need another minute? Okay. Go to the sh shoulder partner, to your elbow partner. Share your answer with your elbow partner. Share your answer with your elbow partner. Okay, since you don't have a partner, you can join with them. Okay. Did you discuss? Yes. Now, I want one of you to help me out in doing this problem. Can one of you read the problem for me, please? Go ahead, Mr. The 
Okay. Taylor, what is your group answer? What did you both discuss and what is your answer? What is the third side? 10x2 plus 3x. Pardon? 10x? 2 plus 3x. Negative 13. Negative 13. Any other different answer? Yeah. Go ahead. Any other different answer in any group? Okay. Let's read it together. It says the perimeter of a rectangle is given. So I'm already given the perimeter, isn't it? The measures of the two sides, measures of two sides are... 8x squared and 4x plus 10. <coughs> so I need to find... <coughs> Am I right? Yeah. So, is it the same they are asking us to find the perimeter? No. They have already given us the perimeter. So that means if I draw the triangle, I know the two sides 8x squared minus 3x plus 1 and 4x <coughs> plus 10. I don't know what this is. What is perimeter we said? Add all, Add all sides. So it is already given. So P is given to you as 8x squared. So 18x squared plus 4x subtract 2 is your perimeter, isn't it? So now add these two sides. Sum of two sides. Eight x squared minus three x plus one, four x plus ten. What did we get? Are you all with me? Yes. We because perimeter is adding all the three sides. We are finding the third side. That means first we need to add the two sides and subtract it from the given side. Am I clear? Yes. So, now I added both the sides. So, I have to subtract it from the perimeter. So, to get the third side, 18x squared minus 4x subtract 2. I'm sorry, plus 4x. Subtract 2. I'm putting the subtraction sign aside. So, 8x squared plus 1x plus 11. 18 subtract 8. 4 subtract 1. Negative 2 subtract 11. So that should be our answer, isn't it? Yeah. Good job. So 1 to 5, I want you to raise your hand and show it to me. How much you have learned in applying polynomials in real world. I want your hand, you, I want you to close your eyes, lift high up your hand and show whether 5, yes I got this. 3, Okay, I need some more examples. One, I don't even know what you're talking. Raise high up, close your eyes. I don't want you to see anyone. Okay, put your hands down. Good job. Now move away from your friend, from your partner. Question 2, 3, 4. 
by yourself. Three more minutes. Okay, how many of you have done the second and the third question? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, write your second answer. Just 
this way is young.
So perimeter is all three sides. Two sides is given off, isn't it? So what is the third side? You need to subtract. So 15D subtract, put it under the like term 6G square minus 6G plus 3, isn't it? Fifteen subtract six nine g to second power. Be careful while you are typing this. That's where I could notice negative nine subtract negative six. Isn't it? Is that what we had? Negative nine subtract negative six. Use calculator properly. Negative nine subtract negative six. And my calculator will tell me what? Negative 3. So negative 3G, 8 subtract 3. So my third side is what? 9G to second power minus 3G plus 5. Is that clear? Yes, So I want you to go ahead work on the problem H work on the problem H I want you to do both A and B. What are light terms? Little louder, same letter, same exponent. Okay, now go ahead and do B. If you have finished A, I want you to do B.
and how far we have learned from fingers 1 to 5. Raise your hand and show me. Okay, thank you. Now, close all your books. Take only one sheet of paper. Yeah, that, the rest of them goes for homework. Rest of them goes for homework. I want you to read that and once you finish the problem, you will give it and you can leave. I'll give you two minutes time to complete it. Read the problem. <coughs> and remember what is our objective and what operations we have applied. Once you finish, write your name, pass it on to me. Read it carefully. When you finished, raise your hand so that I can take the thick sheet of paper. Make sure you write your name. Okay, looks like this row has finished. One of you collect the calculators and put it away. Only from this row. So one of you collect and put it away. The door has to put it away. Total 
or finding the remaining we subtract total we add when do we do multiplication what type of problems did we do any of them today yeah. that is what we are going to do tomorrow we are going to work on area we are going to talk about the area of this room we are going to talk about carpeting the area where somebody said in construction isn't it so we are going to do those problems tomorrow good job you all did wonderfully well any doubts any doubts Anyone want to say something?